Hi everyone, my name is Jesus Alvarez III. Um, today I will be presenting Manuel Alvarez Bravo as the photographer I've chosen for my project. So a little bit um, about Manuel Alvarez Bravo. He was born in 1902 in Mexico City and that is where he got started in photography um, as a teenager. Um, no formal practice, um, just picking up a camera and started shooting. Um, he's a visual artist uh, in the practice of surrealism, even though he did not actually think himself as a, a surreal surrealist, um, which is kind of funny. Uh, more than anything, um, Manuel wanted his work to represent his cultural heritage, um, the peasant population, and the indigenous roots of the Mexican people at um, the time he was growing up. Um, during uh, the Mexican Revolution, um, during uh, farm worker strikes, during like the 1930s, all the way up until like the 1950s. Um, and more than anything, he's a self-taught photographer. So again, no formal training. And he is regarded as the best photographer of Mexico and arguably Latin America as well. So getting into his work, um, I didn't choose a specific order um, because most of his work is, it could go in the category of almost uh, street photography um, just because he was taking photos of his everyday life, which is how he liked it. So this first one is titled Falling, taken in 1980. Um, even though Manuel um, was known as a I mean, amazing portrait photographer. Um, he didn't necessarily find portraits all that fulfilling. Um, he had always said that taking photos um, of the people in the countryside is what always brought him um, excitement um, and just always being able to find something new uh, to photograph and document. This next photo is called uh, Visitation, taken in 1967, uh, I believe in Oaxaca. Um, this was t taken uh, during a funeral um, with um, some indigenous people more um, in the mountains of Oaxaca. This next image is titled Bicicletas en Domingo in 1979, uh, taken out in the Sonoran Desert. This next one is titled Skylight, taken in 1938. Um, this was part of a portfolio he had actually um, put together, but this photo has remained one of his timeless classics that has always been one of his bigger highlights in this collection. This next photo is titled uh, Retrado de lo Eterno, taken in 1932. This is taken of Manuel's wife. Um, it is also um, called by other names, a uh, woman combing her hair. Um, definitely one of my favorite photos. Um, I mean, the way he uses light almost as a just a natural beam uh, coming down um, from his skylight in his home. Uh, the use of just really heavy shadows um, and yeah just highlighting that specific area of where, where we can see um, one hand getting ready to comb uh, her hair just highlighting her nose and parts of her dress this next one uh, is a portrait of Juan uh, Rulfo taken in 1940 uh, Juan um, was a Mexican screenwriter and also a photographer a very good friend of Manuel this next one is a portrait of Frida Kahlo taken sometime during the 1930s uh, Manuel was um, very good friends with Frida and Diego Rivera uh, during the uh, surrealist uh, movement in Mexico. Um, he has many more photos of Frida and Diego uh, taken during that time um, in Mexico, capturing them when they were really getting 
um, into their artistry and doing their big frescoes and murals. This next one is titled Sleeping Dogs Bark Taking, uh, yeah, Sleeping Dogs Bark Taken in 1966. Um, one of, uh, another one of my favorite photos of his, um, just his use of leading lines to just guide you, uh, to the Chihuahua sleeping on the pavement. Um, again, great use of just highlights and, uh, heavy shadows in certain areas of the images and the composition is everything. This next one is titled Unpleasant Portrait, taken in 1945. Um, not too sure who this is as a person, but I thought this was just an amazing photo, especially how there's almost, I don't know, in a way it's like very purposeful of the heavy shadows around the forehead, uh, the hair, and, um, and the person's eyes, but um, a lot of light, um, on their mouth, especially, which I thought was really cool. This next photo is, uh, titled The Great, uh, Pen Penitent, uh, taken in 1954. This next one is titled, uh, La Hija, uh, yeah. La Hija de los Danzantes, taking in 1933. This next one is titled uh, Obrero and Huelga, taking in 1934, um, when farm workers uh, were striking um, just against corruption for better wages. Um, unfortunately, um, farm worker that was striking was killed by being shot in the head um but i think this is a very powerful image uh to be shown um what mexico was like during that those days um but how it's still um true in its form of how it's still happening in mexico um when indigenous communities especially go on strike This next one is a self-portrait of Manuel taking in 1982 in his home um, in Mexico City. This next one is uh, titled Sed Publica, which um, is translated into Public Thirst, taking in 1934. Um, he took this specific portrait of an indigenous uh, boy um, drinking out of a fountain. This next one is titled Threshold, taking it in 1977. And I believe from looking it up, these um, were his wife's feet, I want to say. There was a spill in the house. This next one is titled an Absent Portrait, taken in 1945. And again, very surrealist, even though he <laughs> very was uh, dismissive that he was a surrealist photographer. This next one is called uh, Aprendiendo, taken in 1960 of, indigenous, of an indigenous man looking into a very modern um, storefront. Um, modern clothes, uh, amenities in there, which is kind of, in a way, almost a culture shock to the local population. This next one is Temptations of the House of San Antonio, taken in 1976. And this last photo is titled uh, Saline Worker, uh, taken in 1939 of an indigenous man um, practicing this cultivating of saline uh, salt, um, I believe in Oaxaca. Uh, this is a practice that has been practiced for thousands of years, I believe. Um, so it's awesome just to see that he was able to capture this. Uh, during their prime years when they were still cultivating this. And that's the end of my project, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me.